I just look at ye old comet section. 706 vehicles here. On the last episode of What We Know. Vehicles? I don't see any vehicles, like flying vehicles. I don't see no goddamn vehicles. Can't tell if you're joking or being serious. No, I am being serious. Look at the top of the menu. It says vehicles. Uh, oh, oh, vehicles. Oh. Oh, snap. I think I just found my next video. I can't wait for the vid. <laughs> So this video was going to come out a lot earlier, but because my uh, internet provider decided to uh, turn off the internet while uh, not even telling me, uh, 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 net neutrality, who needs that? <laughs> you only need one provider. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, politics. Keep that away from my channel. In a previous episode, I had said, up next we've got this vehicle right here. Now, why would they show this off? Like, are we going to drive vehicles around the map or something or are they just gonna pick us up and drop us off a lot of possibilities but i don't know i mean i i feel like why would they show this off the reason why we're here is because of that comment that was in the beginning it opened up a whole new world of possibilities on ron why is there a vehicle tab and what is it for are we actually going to be driving around the map or is it just going to be like an accessory that's like on the side of the map where you can actually see it well, I've done a little bit of searching on uh, ye old internet, and I found some interesting pictures of armored vehicles that SWAT people have. This vehicle right here looks exactly like the vehicle that we saw in the trailers. This vehicle looks a lot bigger, and it has actually hatches on the top. I can think of a lot of scenarios that this could be used for. This one literally looks like the MRAP from Squad. Just imagine trying to take out terrors with this. Do, 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 do. Now, if there's anybody that's like not living in the U.S., a sheriff is basically someone that like watches the roads and all the counties, whereas police officers actually watch like the bigger cities or the towns. They have no idea what it's like outside of the states if anybody has like sheriffs or something of the sort. Fill me in, will ya? Now, my understanding is that SWAT gets a majority of their vehicles from the military. They're, they're just basically like hand-me-downs. You know, they just like paint them a different color. Uh, I think this is an American vehicle, just judging by how it says SWAT. You know, it has English on the sides. I have no idea if this is something standard that SWAT uses, but uh, it looks a lot like the frickin' um, Striker from SWAT. Now, I couldn't really find much more on this topic. Um... I find it very interesting that it would actually be there, though. Like, why is it there? I mean, I understand that we're... I think we're gonna be in, like, some kind of area where we're, like, in a loadout area and we're, like, you know, putting our gear on and stuff like that, but... How is that gonna work? Like... I'm, I'm just trying to think of a scenario where somebody's, like, driving a vehicle to the area that they need to be... And... Are these maps really gonna be that big? Hmm. I mean, the most that I could find on it was a Reddit post, and that was six months ago. Nobody else has seemed to talk about it. Actually, there's a developer that's right here that says that vehicles are explicitly drones. Well, then, why would you call it vehicles? What an odd choice of words to use. Why, why couldn't you just call it gadgets? If, you know, it's a gadget, right? I mean, maybe it's just me. I'm just rambling at this point. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the end of the video. I think I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.